Well, I've got good news and I've got bad news. The bad news is, is you've got computer problems. The good news is the search is over. You found me. Let's fix it. Hey everybody, welcome back to Live Gaming Network. I'm Gen X, and in today's video, we're gonna show you guys how to fix that slow computer you've got going on during startup. Your computer starts up slow for many reasons, but usually it's because too many things are trying to update in the background while your computer's trying to run its processes. So let's take a look and fix it. If this video helps you out at all, do not forget to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. I am also live gaming on Twitch almost every day if you ever have a question or just wanna come and vibe. All right, let's show you how to do this. All right, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is open up your file explorer, click on your local disk, your C drive, and then go back one to this PC. When you're on this screen and it shows your hard drives, go ahead and right click your main local disk, go down to properties. Once you're on this screen, go ahead and click disk cleanup. You can go ahead and close everything else off here. Once disk cleanup is open, what you guys wanna make sure is that all of these check marks are checked off. Don't leave any boxes unchecked. Also, you can click clean up system files. Depending on how backed up your computer is, that might take a second. Again, make sure that all of these check marks are checked, you guys. And then it'll show you right here the total amount of disk space you're going to gain by cleaning this up. Go ahead and click okay, and then click delete files. Again, depending on how backed up your computer is, this might take a few minutes. All right, once that's done, next you wanna go into your search and type run, and then open your run app. Once your run app is open, go ahead and type percentage temp percentage, just like I have right there. Click okay. All right, once you're inside your temp folder, what you guys are gonna wanna do is delete every single thing inside the temp folder. Just empty it. Select all and delete. You might get a notification that some files are in use and that's because some of the temporary files are being used. Just click do this for all current items and click skip. Next, go back into the search box and type in update and click on check for updates. On the screen, you can go to advanced options and then down here on pause updates, go ahead and select a date in which you want to update your computer. So let's say every Saturday morning. So once a week, you're gonna come in here and select a Saturday, okay? And now it won't update at all until Saturday. If you don't come in here and set a date for it to update, then it will automatically update every time you turn on your computer and it'll slow up your processor a lot. This will help the startup of your computer and the processes while you're running programs. All right, once that's done, go ahead and close it out. After that, come back down here into the search and type in startup and then click on startup apps. Here, it will have a list of all of the apps that start when you turn on your computer. It's gonna try to put in a lot of things that you don't want. Like I don't want Epic Games Launcher starting unless I'm going to play Fortnite. So I turn that off. I'm not going to use Cyberlink Application Manager unless I'm cutting videos for YouTube. I never use Cortana, so I turn that off. If you guys don't want the program to start when you turn on your computer, then turn it off. For every single program that you have on this list that is turned on, it makes your computer that much slower when you turn on your computer. Now, that being said, don't ever turn off things that you don't know about. If you ever are unsure, do not turn it off. Always keep things like your graphics and your audio controls on. Never turn the things like that off. Well, that's it, you guys. It's as easy as that to speed up the startup of your Windows. If this video helped you out at all, do not forget to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. And remember, you guys, don't be toxic. Spread positivity. We'll see you next time.